When I first heard, started hearing about the unmentionable thing that shan't be mentioned and shan't be uttered for it shall up in creation, I, uh, I started saving a lot of uh, lemon peels and orange peels, uh, primarily orange peels, because I'm, I wasn't used to online shopping. I didn't know you could purchase these things. But I was aware of... And I want to make sure that I say this. Let me get this out of the hands uh, or get this uh, out of the way first. I am not a doctor. I am not a physician. I am not a nutritionist. I am not an herbalist. I am not somebody that you should take medical advice from. If, if you suffer from a chronic illness, an acute illness, or a medical emergency, you should not be following the uh, advice of a YouTube content creator and should be seeking professional medical help from a licensed, licensed medical provider in your area, okay? So if you have a medical emergency, have a chronic illness, or an acute illness, or any medical questions, they should be posed not to a YouTube content creator, but to a medical professional. Because I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not an herbalist, I'm nothing. Now, let's get on with this. So, at the beginning of the unmentionable thing that shan't be mentioned, I started um, gathering orange peels, primarily lemon peels also, and uh, drying them out so that I could use them for later use uh, because of the properties in them that I was aware of. Uh, and I wanted to make this video, uh, which I'm calling Citrus Peels, the uh, Citrus Peels, the superfood you may have been led to believe was deleterious to your health. Okay? Now, I was not born with the knowledge of the power of the citrus peel, okay? My grandmother told me about it, and my grandmother was very much into plants and, uh, and I would say herbalism. In many ways, she's what has been in modern times referred to as a kitchen witch, although she was not a witch. She didn't practice the Wiccan religion. She was actually pretty much uh, an atheist, particularly after my grandfather's passing. She, she uh, was not a fan of the church, so to say. Uh, after my father fell out of favor with the church, uh, she fell out of favor with the church, although my grandfather did remain a minister. But let's get into the, uh, the citrus peel. Okay. So what... When I started saving orange peels, okay? But this is before I knew much about online shopping. Prior to the unmentionable thing that shan't be mentioned, I really didn't do a lot of online shopping. It just wasn't my thing. I would always go to stores, and I would see what they had, and I would get what they had. After uh, becoming aware of online, online shopping, I realized I could buy pounds of orange peel pounds of lemon peel, okay? I can even buy chimpanzee chow, which I'm going to make another video about. I can buy anything that I want practically online within reason at a reasonable price as long as I'm shopping reasonably. I did not know this prior to uh, what has broken out, the, uh, the unmentionable thing that shan't be mentioned. Uh, so after discovering this, I started buying lemon peel and buying orange peel. Uh, and some of the benefits of citrus peel are uh, increased mitochondrial weight and size. And this is all in the description. Please follow the links in the description. They go to uh, research literature to corroborate what I'm saying. They increase the mitochondrial weight and size. Uh, they are very potent anti-proliferation agents, meaning that they stop uh, cancer from proliferating. They are cancer preventative, meaning that they prevent the formation of cancer. 
They are antimicrobial, antiviral, and antibiofilm. They are anti-neurodegeneration, particularly in the case of traumatic brain injuries, ischemic stroke, and uh, things of that nature. They are anti-diabetic, pro-bone health, and uh, what's this one? And anti-arthritic. They are extremely nutrient-dense uh, products. Uh, they contain many micro minerals, which add to their medicinal uh, quality, and they're cheap. They're also uh, being. They also are shown to promote health in cattle, and that's another thing. One of the things you have to when you're researching uh, health. Okay. I found this out a long time ago. Live stock, pigs, cows, uh, even chickens and fish to some extent, uh, despite not being the same as us, uh, certain animals respond similarly to nutritional interventions as people, whether they're equine, bovine, porcine, etc. Of course, the best are porcine, which are pigs, because they're very similar to humans, and, um, and uh, of course, the primates, but there's not a lot of primate research being done, and, of course, uh, the guinea pig and the fruit bats. Uh, guinea pigs and fruit bats are very interesting because they don't make their own uh, ascorbate. They don't make their own vitamin C. See, vitamin C is interesting because vitamin C is more than a mere vitamin in a lot of animals. Okay, Vitamin C is a hormone, essentially. Um, however, of course, in a, a feline multivitamin, there's extra ascorbate. In feline food, there is extra ascorbate. But the interesting thing about uh, polyphenol C, quercetin is a citrus bioflavonoid. It's one of the citrus bioflavonoids. It's also in kale and other things like that. Uh, but the, the interesting aspect is, with bioflavonoids is like amino acids and like B vitamins, they seem to work in synergy. So you don't want to settle on one bioflavonoid. Same thing with the carotenoids. Beta, uh, beta carotene, alpha carotene, lycopene, uh, zeaxanthin, lutein, etc. You want to try and get as many of them as you can, and you can do this in a concentrated way with concentrated foods. Now, I became aware of this by Dr. Robert C. Atkins' book, The Age Defying Diet, the Atkins Age Defying Diet, where he recommends getting as a lot of spice in your life a lot of dried herbs a lot of dried um, uh, dried uh, spices and sun-dried tomatoes and things of this nature because they are much richer in these things and I'm going to be doing a video on apigenin uh, which also is a it's a senolytic agent uh, that I'm, I'm taking along with tocotrienol vitamin E but that that's not neither here nor there for this video uh, but my point is, is that the, when you look for information on how things affect health, don't be shy about researching the veterinary uh, research or the veterinary. See, the thing is, too, limonene, limonene, which you'll see if you read the, uh, the things in the description regarding animal feed, limonene is toxic to chickens and pigs okay it's probably potentially toxic to people too but in extremely large doses probably uh however and this is the thing everything has a drawback and it has positives and negatives limonene builds up in tumors and seems to act as an anti-proliferation agent and causes the shrinkage of tumors. So you really need to look at the whole picture. And that's one of the problems with, um, you need both the reductionist view of science and you need the 
whole picture. And that's the problem, is there's fans of reductionism, and there's fans of cosmology, and there's not people, a lot of people don't share the need for the, like Einstein, the theory of the great, the, 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 the theory of everything, and the theory of the very small. You need both. You can't have one or the other. You need to know everything that you possibly can know if you want to affect positive change to occur in conformity with one's will, as Aleister Crowley states. If you want to make magic happen, if you want to make change occur in conformity with will, you need to expand your knowledge base, and you need to uh, expand your ability to implement that knowledge. You have to understand... Um, I think it was one of the Adventists that stated, uh, faith without action is empty. Um, and the thing is, you need... No, 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 it was Patrick Quillen, actually, that said that. But you need to have faith in the research and the action of implementing it. Simply knowing stuff is not going to help you. But you also have to understand... There are very, very real risks, as Dirk Pearson and St Sandy Shaw stated in their book, Life Extension, a Practical Scientific Approach. Uh, remember that a pioneer, another name, another name for a pioneer is somebody that has an Indian's arrow right through their head. So there are potential drawbacks to everything, and there are potential benefits to everything and you need to learn to weigh the risk with the benefit and a lot of people they don't do that that was a big thing with the carnivore diet a lot of people jumped all in on that that's a big problem I've seen um, when I was counseling people on nutritional advice a lot of people with ketogenic diets or the Atkins diet they don't practice them correctly both a ketogenic diet can be done vegan if you really want to. But the, the key problem that most people have with both the Atkins diet and with, and when I say Atkins diet, I'm not talking about the Atkins age-defined diet or the Atkins super energy diet or the Atkins diabetes revolution. I'm talking about the Atkins diet, the weight management version of the diet. And one of the largest problems that people have is they lack any amount of fiber because they refuse to eat any of the vegetables that are allowed on the diet because they don't want to eat vegetables and they try to sustain themselves on bacon, cheese, sour cream, etc., which of course causes digestional discomfort, constipation, etc. So when I was counseling people on nutrition, the biggest problem people had with ketogenic diets was digestion issues. And of course, you're going to develop severe digestion issues if you do not have fiber in your digestive tract to assist with peristalsis. Another thing that I've noticed about YouTubers that uh, talk a lot about nutrition, I don't think any of them have taken a nutrition course. You never, you rarely ever hear any of them talk about mastication, para, uh, peristalsis, uh, defecation. Uh, you don't hear much about the, uh, the enzymatic activity unless they're talking about supplements. You don't hear very much from nutritionally minded YouTubers regarding the process of digestion because you have to remember, like, uh, I think it was, uh, oh, who was it? Uh, maybe it was Dr. Wallach stated, or was it Wallach or was it uh, Adult Davis? When you expand your knowledge base too much, you forget who said what. But the thing is, you're not what you consume, you're what you absorb. If it goes through you and comes out the other end, unchanged by the enzymes in your body, it's not doing you much good. Now, what we have found, though, is luckily... Luckily, with some of the fibers and things like that, that a people, for a long time, people didn't really know what fiber did except to assist with peristalsis. We now know that fiber feeds the microbiome, the positive bacteria in the microbiome. Yet another thing citrus peels do 
is they allow for the uh, reproduction and proliferation of the right bacteria in your guts. So it helps to balance the microbiome, which has an overall benefit on your overall health. Now remember, before I close out this video, I want you to know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not an herbalist. If you have a medical concern, seek help from an actual medical professional and not a YouTube content creator.